where did it all start? Well, I've had a few other jobs in my life. Most were pretty boring, though. 24 minutes to door knock. I was looking for something, you know, new. Something with a little more exhilaration. Something that was a real adrenaline push. So this one day, I'm in my front yard and my friend comes over. The guy I used to work with. And he's like, hey, how's it going? And I'm like, man, Rick, that's my friend's name, Rick. I'm kind of bored. How many times can you combat terrorism and fly fighter jets? It's the same old, same old, you know? And Rick totally got it. He said, have you ever thought about going to pharmacy school? To be honest, no. Mostly because I had these preconceived ideas of what a pharmacist did. Boy, was I wrong. It's way crazier than that. So I went to pharmacy school. It was pretty easy except this one class, PPC. What a mysterious name. What is PPC? What does that even mean? Anyway, biochem, microbiology, immunology, yawn. But this PPC class really got me ready to rock and roll. And I'll never forget the very first night on the job. Good evening, ma'am. How may I help you? Good evening. <laughs> Obviously. I have a cold that needs to be addressed. I have not been able to sleep lately. That's a really bad thing because I drive a school bus. Man, have I had some bad experiences on those. Everybody on? Good. Great. Grand. Wonderful. No yelling on the bus! Sounds like it's really important for you to be bright and alert in the morning. Yes, and the congestion keeps me up. I can't take any medicines that make me groggy in the morning. I was wondering about this NyQuil. Is it something I can take? Well, I'd be elated to help determine that. But first, do you mind if I ask you a few more questions? It will be helpful to figure out exactly which option is best for you. No, I don't mind. Well, let's get the introductions down. My name is Lloyd Christmas, and I'm the director of pharmacy here at Lloyd's Down Home Garage Pharmacy. And like the sign says out front, we're legit. Hi. I'm WB, a 34-year-old white woman, and I have a cold. Well, WB, in addition to that, have you had a fever? I have not. Well, what sort of things are troubling you? Well, I'm afraid of clowns. I'm sorry, I should have clarified. What about your cold has been troubling? Oh, of course. <laughs> I have a lot of pressure in my head. And I have a runny nose. It's like Niagara Falls during the daytime. And as I said, I can't sleep. It's keeping me up all night. WB, how long has this been going on? Oh, just a couple of nights now. Could I ask to check your blood pressure? It's one of the considerations before recommending a decongestant for you. Well, of course. You are a doctor, right? That's right, ma'am. A doctor of pharmacy. Just hold still. 138 over 86. Your blood pressure is above normal. In fact, you're almost at what is considered stage one hypertension. Oh heavens, what does that mean? It means it narrows our decongestant options for you. WB, can you tell me what other medications you're taking? Well, let's see, yes. I'm taking enalapril to keep the blood pressure under control. Sertraline because I get a bits of the blues sometimes. Cetirazine for my allergies, and Loaval. It's a birth control pill. In addition, I'm taking Diclofenac. I don't take that all the time, only when I really need it. Yes, I understand. And in addition to the prescription medicines, do you take any vitamins, supplements, or herbal medicines? No, but I do love barbecue ribs. I call them my other medicine. That's useful information to know. I too enjoy barbecued ribs. What about any other medical conditions? Anything to report there? My doctor says I'm healthy as a horse. I'm not sure what that means. I don't know either. I'm sure it's a compliment though. What about allergies? Do you have any? Let's see, um, 
penicillin, and latex. If I wear those latex gloves, my hands swell up. They look like a couple of lobsters. Ooh, that must be very disturbing to you. It is to me. Now I'd like to ask you some questions about your lifestyle, if that's okay. You mentioned you were a bus driver. I am, but my real passion is teaching interpretive dance, which I do on the side. What about socially? Do you drink alcohol? Oh, not too much. Every once in a while I have a Zima, maybe once a month. And smoking, uh, are you a smoker? Oh, heavens no. <laughs> okay, well based on everything you've shared with me, I think this is something that we can address right here in the pharmacy. Self-care is what I like to call it. First of all, the NyQuil is not a good option for you. Two of the ingredients, as you can see on the label, dextromethorphan and doxylamine, can interact with your sertraline in a potentially unsafe way. So we should avoid this. Oh my goodness, thank you for telling me. I do have good news, WB, and that is that we have both medicines and non-medicines to suggest for you. Let's start with some of these non-medications. You should use a humidifier at night when you sleep. This helps moisten up the linings of your nasal passages. I also highly recommend nasal saline spray. I'll show you how to use this in a little bit. It works very well for me when I'm congested. During the day, make sure you drink lots of fluids and keep your head elevated. Now, for medication, I recommend Afrin. You can give yourself two to three sprays per nostril two times during the day. Just be sure to space those out about 10 to 12 hours apart. You shouldn't use this product more than three days, so I'm going to call you at that point and see how you're doing with it. Now when you coordinate inhaling this, you want to do so with some force, but not so forcefully that you inhale the product all the way through down into your throat. We want it to be in your nasal passages. I'm also recommending Benadryl, which you can take at bedtime. One tablet is all you'll take each night. It will help also with congestion and it may make you feel a little sleepy, which is a good thing. You'll wake up in the morning refreshed and ready to take those kids to school. Well, if you weren't the most knowledgeable pharmacist I've ever met. Thank you, WB. And I'm writing all this down for you and will help you pick these products out. I'll be following up with you in about three days about the Afrin and again in seven days. If it's not better then, I'm going to advise we call your doctor. Oh, well, I'd appreciate that. Oh, finally, before we go get those products, I want to say what you need to expect. The Afrin can make your nasal passages a little dry and irritated. And also, if you could come by each day, I'd be happy to recheck your blood pressure, just to make sure nothing is having an adverse effect on that. You should start feeling better in the next day or so. When you do, you'll be breathing just fine again. You won't even need to take the Benadryl at nighttime. It's fine to continue using the saline spray and the humidifier if you find them to be helpful. Lloyd Christmas, you are a fine pharmacist. I bet you went to that Lecom, didn't you? Mm-hmm. I knew it. <laughs>